You want to learn how to edit faster, or dare I say, two times faster in Premiere Pro. Well, in this video, I am going to share with you my top 10 favorite keyboard shortcuts that have helped me edit at least, at least twice as fast in Premiere Pro. Trust me when I say that this is going to change your workflow for good. You're going to be so much faster. You're going to save so much time. And my favorite ones are number four and number six number seven <laughs> and of course i'm curious what your favorite shortcut is but make sure to stick around till the end because i'm going to let you in on a little secret so the first shortcut is actually two shortcuts which i don't know if i'm cheating but i don't really care i feel like they belong together and that is the up and down arrow to go either to the beginning of a clip or the end of a clip i usually use this to just navigate through my timeline but also when i need to find like the first frame of a clip or the last frame instead of having to take my playhead and then just you know move it around and trying to find the first frame what i do is i just use my up and down arrow and it is just done in no time the second shortcut is, again, two shortcuts. I realize that I am really a cheater, but this is bonus. This is all bonus. You're not getting 10, you're getting 12. So the second key sh short key, sh the second shortcut or shortcuts are the plus and minus key on your keyboard. And using these, you can actually zoom in on the timeline, which is so useful because now you don't have to drag that little thingy at the bottom. I don't know the name of it, but you don't need to drag that to zoom in or to zoom out. You can just keep your hand on your keyboard and just zoom in and out like that. And a little bonus tip, if you hold shift while you're zooming in or zooming out, you're actually expanding or minimizing the audio and video tracks on your timeline, which again can be super useful. My third favorite shortcut is this one. I don't know the proper name of this one. It looks like an epistrophe. It's not an epistrophe, but it looks like it. And with this shortcut, you can make whatever window you have selected go full screen. And I love this, especially when I'm done with an edit and I need to review it. I just hit this key to make the program monitor bigger. Or if I wanna see the entire timeline and I don't really need the program monitor at that point, I'll make the timeline go full screen. It's great. All right, we have arrived at number four, which as you know, is one of my ultimate favorites. Why, you may ask? Well, let me explain. So I often have to cut multiple clips on top of each other. And instead of having to do that one by one, I can now do that all together. And that is by holding the shift key when you already have the cut tool or the razor tool selected. So now you can just click and as you can see, everything will be cut. The shift key is not only useful when you want to cut clips simultaneously, but it's also useful when you want to ripple delete something. If you don't know what ripple delete means, it's basically if you have two clips and you have a space in between and you want to get rid of that space, you ripple delete that so that then the clip moves and now they're connected. Or another example is if you have a clip in between multiple clips and you want to get rid of that one clip, but you don't want to have a gap afterwards, you can ripple delete that clip so that then everything will be moved together again. So it's super useful and what you can do is just right click on the clip or on the space and then click on ripple delete But what you can also do is hit shift and delete and it will do it for you Whether you're working on a social cut a b-roll sequence or basically any video that you're working on Sometimes you're watching your video. And you're just like No, no, this clip needs to move. There's two things you can do. You can either, please don't do this. You can either just move it to where you want it to be. And as you will see, it will overwrite the clip that was already there. So what you can also do is put it on the track above it and then move the clips and then put it in between wherever you wanted it to be. Now, I really don't recommend doing that because it takes a lot of time. So what I would recommend you to do is hold the control or the command key if you're on a Mac while you're clicking on that clip and then moving it around if you're holding the control or command key, you will just insert it without overriding any of the other clips that are already there. We arrived at one of my favorite shortcuts, and that is the JKL shortcut, which is actually three shortcuts, but we've gone over this. Just 
accept it. Why do I love these keyboard shortcuts so much? Well, because with the J you can rewind, the K you can stop, and with the L you can fast forward. Now that may not say anything to you because why would you rewind or fast forward or all that stuff? But this is so useful when you want to fine tune your edit or just when you want to edit in general. You can rewind it to go back so you don't have to drag the play hat for example and find things you can just hold your fingers on the JKL. You can just navigate that way and you can really fine tune your edits like that. You can really fine tune your cuts like that. So I definitely recommend you trying it out if you haven't already. The eighth shortcut that I want to share with you is the N key, and this is the rolling edit key. Maybe you have never used the rolling edit tool before, and that is totally fine. I definitely don't use it all the time, but it can be very, very useful, which is why it belongs in my top 10. As an example, let's just say that we're cutting to the beat. Now, it turned out that we misplaced one of the beats, so one of the cuts is off. What we can do is we can either shorten the clip in front and then make the other one longer, so change the beginning point of that clip. But what we can also do is enable the rolling edit tool by hitting N on our keyboard. And what we can do now is we can take that cut and we can move that cut around. So we're basically changing the end point of the first clip and the beginning point of the second clip. And it is just so much easier and so useful if you ever run into something like this. All right, there are two shortcuts left and one of them has to do with copying. And no, I'm not talking about Control C, Control V or Command C if you're on a Mac. I'm talking about the Alt key. You can hit Control C and then Control V, but that doesn't, it doesn't really work as nicely as when you hold Alt and then you click on the clip and then you move the clip, drop the clip, and now you'll see that you created a copy. Before I share my secret with you, we have one shortcut left and that is the G key. Now the G key is super useful because this is the audio gain shortcut. So if you want all of the audio tracks to have the same volume, for example, what you want to do is you want to select all of those audio tracks and then hit G on your keyboard. That will pop up this window and then you can normalize everything to a certain level. If you made it this far into the video, you definitely deserve to learn about my secret. And you may have guessed it already, but in case you didn't, this is my secret. Link in description. I have been using this keyboard for many months, I think maybe maybe even a year already, and it is the ultimate way to learn new shortcuts and just learn to edit a lot faster. For example, if we wanna know how to increase the clip volume, you can just look up here and then this says clip volume with a little plus and then clip volume with a little minus if we want to lower the volume. Voila, we just learned another shortcut. It is so helpful and it's not just helpful for beginners, although this is the ultimate way to learn shortcuts for beginners, but it's also just super useful if you are a more seasoned editor like myself. I definitely don't know all the shortcuts, so this is a great cheat when I don't know something. And it also has helped me learn a lot of new shortcuts. And I know what you may be thinking, but the answer is no, this video is not sponsored. Like I said, I've been using this for almost a year and I love it and I think it can be super helpful for you, which is why I want to share it. So again, I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. This specific one is from Editor's Keys. They're great guys. I highly recommend checking them out. And, and, one second. I have these keyboard covers that I would love to give away to you at some point. So definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, I would love to know what is your favorite shortcut. Let me know in the comments. And of course, make sure to hit subscribe, to hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when new videos come out. And you also won't miss when you can get one of these. They're really cool.